Uh, I don't usually like to hang out in downtowns, but this is the perfect downtown for me. I haven't seen, uh, I've, seen I've seen one other person walking around. The traffic's not bad. It's not crowded. It's because most stuff is closed because it's historic and old. It's kind of a shame, though, that everything is closed. Uh, you know, that more historical downtowns like this aren't, aren't profitable. You know, the, the, the people are um, flocking to big box stores and strip malls and all of that and we're no longer shopping in small towns like this and walking down here is like a walk in my past with the cold weather the old buildings reminds me of endicott new york as a kid we used to go there in the winter at christmas and it was always so pretty and quaint and bennington vermont i'm thinking of bennington vermont too kind of cool but yeah Kind of cool. I'm glad I got out. Got to walk around a little bit before I drive. 1868, this was a hotel. It was a grand three-story frame building that's reputed to be richly appointed. After the end of the Cowtown boom, the town was nearly bankrupt. And then mining began in Joplin and Galena. And they moved. murals here. I don't know if the church bells are ruining the train or the train are ruining the church bells. <laughs> I think it's the latter. I think at this point I'd rather hear the church bells. inside because it's hard to shoot and pay attention to stuff with him and he had a walk this morning or he got to wander around camp so awesome little trip in Baxter Springs Kansas Civil War and uh, Route 66 oh my gosh Built in 1870, it was formerly the bank which Jesse James robbed in 1876. It's currently a restaurant and bed and breakfast. Oh my gosh, Jesse James robbed this bank. That's really cool. Look at that mural, I like that. In 1872, the mayor of Baxter Springs, J.R. Boyd, shot and killed C.M. Taylor, Marshall, near this spot. Bad blood had existed between the two for some time. The Marshal approached Boyd to serve him a warrant for arrest on an assault charge. Taylor asked for Boyd's arms, a revolver, and a derringer. Boyd promptly drew the derringer and shot Taylor through the heart. He fell to the street dead. Crazy. <laughs> the mayor just shot the Marshal in the street. Although, I don't know. <laughs> Has politics really changed that much? They may not pull out guns and kill people, but, you know. I see somebody I gotta meet. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is... Oh, wow. Can you see inside? That's really cool. Real old-fashioned soda fountain. But it's Sunday morning and nothing is open. Oh. They all have big apple screens. And there's somebody in there. Oh. It's a learning center. Not open to the public. Well, that's why there are computers. a lifetime learning center so they redid it as a soda fountain diner but it's not open to the public and it's a learning center and that's why there are big laptops on the tables
look at that old antique right there. Wow, I wonder what part that plays in the history of America. <laughs> I haven't seen anything that old in a long time. I wonder if it even runs. Kind of cool, we're gonna hit the road. See you later. not a double E. As you can see, it's a pretty dreary day. And there's not much to see here, folks. <laughs> you want to go through historic downtown? Why not? It says there's food and shopping. Farmer and business owned, it says. Downtown museum, a jail, a bank, and the chamber of commerce. Park here at freecampsites.net suggested. <laughs> 